Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? This, oh, my, that was the wrong one. Okay, what, uh, <laughs> uh, what is it again? Sheesh. I'm uh, back from yeah, vacation. Yeah, bro, I right forgot there. the intro to all that. I, I was saying it the whole time as I was, like, on my way here. That's crazy. I remember my part, though. <laughs> I can't even get it to you. All right, I got it right. I don't know if the yo, yo, yo. I just know it's two real sports. We keep it way too real. <laughs> Unapologetic, okay. unscripted, unbi- oh, unapologetic, oh, unbiased, unscripted. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, thank no, you. Sorry. You saved this. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was trying to make it. I was going to have to keep No, the, no, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, unapologetic, unbiased, unscripted. This is, we right, keep we it way it. too <laughs> loud. <laughs> way too real. Way too real. We keep it way too real. Un- unapologetic, unbiased. Wow. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, yo. Did I keep doing it, yo? Yo, this is too real sports, and we keep it way too real. <laughs> unapologetic, unbiased, and unscripted. Oh man, and I think you do say yo yo yo. Though. I do. I don't know. Yo, 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 it's yeah. been that long on vacation. I don't that, know, man. Because when terrible. we do the pickums, that's why I started saying yo yo too. I got that from you from the pickums. So. <sighs> My bad, man. Yeah, we here. You know, at that damn snoozer bowl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It is what it is. But if you like, if you if you enjoy the game of football, man. No, nope. I appreciate it, man. I, it was cool nope. with me. Nope, don't try to save it. Nah, man. It, was, Super Bowl. it was predictable. No, nope. that wasn't predictable. That was the worst Super Bowl of all time. It wound up being predictable because ain't nothing changed. Ain't it was, nothing changed, man. The, the, I, I can't even say uh, We're going to get into the detail of it. We're going to get <laughs> My brother. Yes, sir. Oh, man, been too long, but we back like yeah. we never left. You know, we, you know, the playoffs and everything. We want everything to simmer. The, now we... It's about to be all-star breaking basketball. Mm-hmm. You know, it's about to be the basketball takeover, so we got to get our mind right with that, so it's perfect. What's good, though, bro? Yeah, hey, man. I ain't know as much, man. You really didn't like that Super Bowl? Oh, oh it was the worst <laughs> Super Bowl of all time. It was terrible. And I, let's just get right into it. Yeah, let's, get now, into let's, it man. let's do it. 13-3, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> I told you, man. I was trying to tell you, man. Your boy one that got neutralized, man. All right, well, I, I can't even... Yes, right. I I guess, but Jared Goff, man. <laughs> oh I mean, do you God. get what I'm saying now when I said I'm not sold on Jared Goff and Todd Gurley? Now Todd Gurley must be hurt. He, nah, he's not. He At this be. point, I'm just waiting to see what was really going yeah, on with him. He got it. Got to be like yeah. bad. Like he, he he must be really. He not. Hurt. He not right. He not so, right. And he literally pretty much had like but he a looked month good, off. Though. He had like a month off, considering like the last three four games he missed mm-hmm. of the year. And then he had the bottom. They had the bottom first round, and uh-huh. then they had the week off after um, to get um, to get to the Super Bowl. He had mad time off. He he's not right, man. The the weird thing though is when he ran and and played. I mean, he he looked or he looked good. Yeah. It wasn't. But yeah. they did say I did see reports of saying like he noticeably was limping and things like that. If you watch the walk or thing like that, so he, he spent more time on the bike than on the field, man. Like he's he not right, yo. I mean, I. It's hard for me to blame it on Sean McVay. I mean, yes, but I mean Jared Goff, three points, three points, <laughs> three Yo, points. Dan had lights all night. He looked mad predictable. Like he looked like a player that playing Madden for the first time, sort of play. Uh-huh. He sort of like you know he got the options, but the, 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 the um when you throwing the ball through that that's green. Everybody else doing the green. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing it to green. He didn't change his mind. He's doing the green the whole entire time. It's like yo man. He didn't change anything. He did not know. change anything. Everything was like premeditated. And he didn't change his mind. He didn't really audible with nothing. He's not that type of player yet. He was. He, he's not been in that game. I just didn't see a good ball. He just. I just don't remember any throw that was just a good ball. Like he had a couple. It's not like he was out there. He had a couple. He didn't even throw every ball was bad. But yo, I, nah, fam. I she. He was neutralized. <laughs> I mean, the one touchdown he should have had. You know. He took way too long. He was open yeah, for way. Also, he was open for way. He took way too long. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just didn't see a good. But all right, let, let, let's 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 make it spicy. Let's get spicy a little, man. Right? Because I'm gonna make the same point why I just think it was a terrible Super Bowl. I can't be one of these people that's Brady's the goat. <laughs> nah, I mean, can't. I can't because of two things. For one, Joe Montana's these stats. But another thing is why I just say the Super Bowl was horrible. Tom Brady's QBR was 25. It was 25? 25. It was terrible. I mean, golf had to be like 8. Golf's was 13. <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> Super Bowl ever. So I can't stamp you as the GOAT. I know everybody, the number 6, 
But I can't be like you to go after you had a game of 25 QBR. Like, this just, nah, it was just nah. a bad game. Nah, right on time, right on schedule again. As soon as the Saints tied, as soon as the Saints, <laughs> see, they should have been in the first place. As soon as the Rams tied the game, what did Brady come down to do? I like, don't know. It, it, no, it was that drive. It was that drive that when he threw it to Gronk at the end, he, and, and after they ran it in, it was when they scored the touchdown. As soon as they tied it up, Brady came out. Right, here we go. Bing, 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 like four in a row, four or five in a row to Gronk, boom, ran it in, touchdown. Right on right on schedule. Right on schedule, yo. I guess. I right on schedule, man. I, I can't give him no credit for that because it was so good you played with a 25 QBR. It's just... You nah. have one good drive out of the whole game. I just, I don't know what one hey. one play that I thought was big, that I thought was big. Uh, it's no excuse because they scored three points, but and I just football is crazy. And I guess it was just a revenge call for for the Saints. But when they called uh, on twenty three, uh, what did they call? Oh, before he can when he. Caught the ball and then got tackled immediately. Yeah, they said you got to, like, let somebody catch the ball. I've never in my life. What all is that, yo? You got to let him catch the ball first and then you tackle. I I never heard that in my life. I don't understand in one bit. Like, are you kidding me, yo? I didn't. But I thought that was huge as far as uh, flipping the field. So the Patriots didn't score there. But if they would have punted then, which they should have, which they would have because it would have been third and 20 and most likely, that would have gave the Rams a short field that they never had. Uh... I thought that was a huge call. Patriots got another call that I'm going blank on right now. And it's just like, yeah. but still, 13-3, I can't give Brady no credit for that. I can't. Got to. That drive, man, he came that perfect pass to Gronk. He, yo, he was pretty much covered by three. Well, not three. Somebody was coming. The safety was coming over the top. But he was on – two people was on him. He threw in the perfect spot. Next play, touchdown. And that was pretty much all she wrote after that. There's not much she had to do because Jared Goff, like – this is what it like. This is where the other part of the game comes in. You got to sit there and, and call out a plays and call out audibles. They sitting there. They they neutralized their one game. They wasn't running at all, and they kept oh on run, they kept on doing play actions. I said, "What the hell do we keep on running these play actions for? You're not running the ball. You made it so easy. You, you made it so easy on, on on Belichick and the defense to be in the right spots because you wasn't fooling nobody. Y'all sitting here running play act. What are you doing running play actions and you not running the ball at all?" They kept on running the play action plays and yeah, golf yeah. kept on forcing it and he eventually threw that pick to Gilmore at the end. That was that, that was terrible, yo. Was that, terrible. that was terrible. The and whole, that was pretty much the game, yo. The whole I mean, the quarterback play just I I, I just nah, don't it was even, bad on both I just can't even blame it on I just don't know what it was just horrible. Again, twenty five and thirteen. That's just so unfathomable. And why I can't give Brady any credit, any Q B and the NFL could have played as bad as he played yesterday. Any QB. Any QB. And, I mean, I don't want to throw this in there, but Dak would have beat Brady yesterday. <laughs> Dak would have not scored no oh, damn three points. We Dak would have definitely beat that team <laughs> yesterday. And I, I was as I'm watching it, I didn't even want to start the creep in, but I'm I like, just, damn, some man. Way, somehow Dak introduced this. I mean, he would he would have beat that team, man. But I just can't I can't call Brady to go. Nah, I'm, he got to. He, he, he won the game. He won he the game. Didn't win he didn't win the game. Bill won Belichick won the game. Yeah, yeah, but he had that drive. He had that 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 drive, man, to, to yeah. give him that touchdown. That was it. But can we give a quarterback credit for one drive out of it was, twelve? If it was the drive to give him the to give him the lead, I mean, it's but not, it's one drive. I mean, they could have ran the Wildcat and scored. So 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 what he did versus Chiefs don't count. It don't count for his legacy on the road. It, it, that don't count. Yes, I mean he it, just sliced and diced the Chiefs. He, come on, man. Yeah, it, it, it's it's nice, but let's put it in perspective. He played a kid who's going against his first playoff game. You know, I mean, hey. so I, I expect you to beat Pat Mahomes in his first playoff Brady's game. Brady's forty one, man. If that if you're gonna go that way, Brady's forty one. Jared, no, Jared Goff was in kindergarten when Brady won his first chip. Like, I can't. The, 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 the thing about the 41 thing that I think gets a little bit. I mean, yes, it's a great big deal that he's 41. We forget that Drew Brees is, what, 40? And look, so, and look how he's looking. Drew Brees looked great. <laughs> towards, until, the end of the, towards the end of the year. Yeah, towards at, the end of the year. From the Cowboys game on, it, it was over. Who had a better year overall? <sighs> Breeze had a better year. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Breeze had, had a better year. Overall. Breeze had a better year overall. So I mean, Breeze right there. It's Breeze just, also has a way better roster overall too, as well too. He has a whole lot more help on offense than Brady does. I don't know. <laughs> yes. I don't know why. We we that backfield is is great. 
what Brady has. That's a great backfield. With those four running We've backs. We got Alvin Kamara and in, 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 in Ingram. All right. They got James White, Michelle, mm. Burkhead. These are these are they're, big time players. James White should have been an MVP of the Super Bowl last year. They had to catch the ball at the backfield getting thrown by Brady. Alvin Kamara is in, in um in Ingram. They they do what they do, and he has Michael Thomas. Top, he has a top three wide receiver in the NFL. I give him Michael Arguably. Thomas. I give him Michael Thomas. I give him that. But I, I the Patriots are still right there with the, the talent. I don't think the Saints are all as talented as we think. But as far as the age thing, it's very different because these these people, he got. His first sack out of, out of 100 snaps when he got hit yeah. once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, with the rules going today, it's not like they're taking the same punishment as the old quarterback. So, when you're 41 and not getting hit, I mean, Brett Favre right now probably still throws better than most quarterbacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's going to be forever, man. He can pitch. So, the 41 is cute. It's nice. But, realistically, nah, you're right, not though. getting hit. Cause Bill Bill did neutralize um Aaron Bill Donald. He, he was um he was double door game and, and Sue man. All right, that's it. Don't enough of this Sue being a Hall of Famer. This is his time to step him and have his game. He did nothing yesterday, man. Sue didn't do a damn Sue, thing I yesterday. I thought he was all right. Man. I thought he did pretty good. Nah, he didn't do nothing, man. He, I, thought, he, he, I he, thought the Rams D line overall did pretty good. Nah, well, I mean the Patriots scored thirteen points. That is true. They scored thirteen. points. Brady wasn't getting hit. He got a couple of hurries. He got pressure, but he he he, he need to get hit. He need he need to get Justin Tuck hit. How he was getting hit in that, in that 2000, mm-hmm. um, was it 2008, 2009 mm-hmm. Super Bowl, that first one. He needs to get hit, man. And he wasn't getting hit enough. And he gets rid of that ball fast. You can hurry him. You can pressure him. But that ball is coming out. As long as you don't get hit, he's going to be he'll, – he'll, he'll have his chance. And then long enough that long, – long bowl that drive came, game time. <laughs> game time. I can't give him that. You hey, scored man. 13 points. Other team this had is, three. This is my thing. That's all he had to do. This is my thing. With, no, it's not all he had to do. It's it was not do. like he did Why, do it. That's on, all he had to do. Not like he wanted to just like, not like he was trying to control the game. Not like how, you know, we got this lead, so let me. No, oh, they just, it was you just You know, they ain't really got to sit there and try to do nothing, nothing crazy. They, they played it. I think they played the game, man. They, this, they were supposed to do. Oh, hell no. This when is why I can't call them the, the GOAT because. <laughs> this is when I when I was thinking about this, right? It's hard to say someone ha- is that we say Bill Belichick's the greatest coach of all time, right? Yeah. So to me, it's hard to have the greatest coach of all time and then the greatest player of all time. That means we overrating somebody here. Somebody's getting overrated. They just ain't. You that's not what they say about Phil and MJ. I don't know if Phil is the greatest coach of all time. Well, that's, he got it. He got Phil all the rings. Phil is the smartest as far as putting himself in position, but Phil doesn't get. The goat, like Bill Belichick, gets the goat. You know, you, hands down, yeah. You still got people that say, uh, "What you gonna call it?" Uh, is the best coach of all time. I, I mean, I don't know. What's uh, what was AI's coach? Uh, Light Brown. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that a bunch. You know, uh, but Bill Belichick is mostly to everybody the goat. So it's hard to say that a player is the goat and the coach is the goat. That means we overrating somebody. And I don't want to, like, prove what, but just think about these Super Bowl wins that Tom Brady has. The defense and the kickers have won these games. So I can't – now, on the flip yeah, side of that, I, right – I go hand-in-hand. Hand. I mean, they don't get there. They don't get in field goal range without Brady. Uh, yeah, but any quarterback. A lot of quarterbacks will do that, then, though. I can't make it, it seem like – and you're it's the not, only one that could do that. And how do you play? It's not like they was trying to score the touchdown. No, they was they trying were. to get in field goal. At that point in those games, no, they were trying, they were trying to, to get in the field goal range. They was trying to score. It's just they couldn't do nothing besides give Edelman the ball. <laughs> my only, my other. Now thing I'm talking is, about those particular football when they, when they won by field goals. Oh, and at those, those moments, they were, they weren't trying to score touchdowns. They was trying to get in the field goal range yeah. and, 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 get, and get the W. Yeah, but at the same time, the scores are what twenty. 21, 17, ain't like he's lighting this thing up, you know. And then the other flip side of it, yes, Joe Montana has less, right? He has four. He has less. Joe Montana was throwing five touchdowns in the Super Bowl. He was throwing three touchdowns in the Super Bowl. He has the greatest passing rating of all time in the Super Bowl. Brady has 145 in the Super Bowl. He has 17 points in the Super Bowl. He has a 25 QBR in his last Super Bowl. I, that's not the greatest he, he, to me. He also had, he goes to his coach, the all-time great offensive mind, Bill Walsh, and he was throwing to Jerry Rice. It's, Brady never had these plays, and when he did, it was one year, yeah, Randy Moss, and every broke, and every record got broke. And he, and 
But he lost. <laughs> but he lost. He sure did. He lost. Joe Montana ain't lose with Jerry Rice. He did lose. <laughs> he got there. He went with Jerry Rice, and he was gonna make sure he was gonna win. So that's just I don't. I just maybe because it's maybe I'm just too stuck right now in this 25 QBR. Maybe that's what it is. But I just can't call you to go after that game. I'm gonna call Bill Belichick to go. I'm gonna call that defense and what he's been doing to go. I was but cool. I'm not gonna call that quarterback because anybody could. Jacoby Brissett, uh, just because he was a Patriot, could have played that game Hell and won. No. He would have not won yesterday. No. They scored three points. Nobody's getting rid of the ball as fast as Brady. So what maybe Aaron Dotto, maybe, maybe that pressure wouldn't have got to him a couple of times. Maybe a couple of sacks, maybe a strip fumble. He's he's not in. Nah, hell no. Nah, I don't wild. care hell how no. fast Brady throws the ball. It did nothing yesterday. It did absolutely nothing. It, it didn't. It, it got him not sacked. He got it got him one sack. And and thirteen points <laughs> and one touchdown. And when he needed it, boom, there it was. I mean, you he needed need it, it all he, game. He, nah. We needed it all game. They won the game. They, they won that game. They did. They, they did. won that game. But it was not anything to do with their quarterback. I was calling Brady to go before this game anyway, so like this even like reedifies it for me. He, that that drive when he needed it right after the game was tied, it came right after the, um, the field goal was kicked. That, but the most I pressure is like, come on. After that was game over. It was nothing else to do after that. I don't Run the clock out. That was a terrible game. It was back on the defense, get some stops. They got him. I, no I, again. I can't give Brady any credit for that game. None. I can't. I out of out of a hundred percent pie, I'll give him one percent because he started as the quarterback. <laughs> but he made zero plays, and I can't. I can't give you a credit for playing that bad yeah. all game. And just because you scored, I mean, the running back scored. I've been saying, oh yeah, this is worst roster. I mean, this is his worst roster. Why do you think Julian Edelman had eleven catches for? Why do you think Julian Edelman got MVP? Yeah, all them catches because there was nobody else. Sure. I'm gonna just feed Edelman all day. Julian, and, I mean, and matter of fact, Edelman is a baller. He's, he is he's a Hall of Famer. He is, and he's come off an ACL injury. He's but, a Hall of Famer. But when does ever um, Brady throw to one person like that throughout the whole entire – I mean, that's not true. Brady was – I mean, I uh, – Nobody no, got the well, except I, for I Gronk. Agree. Gronk I got agree. like two passes, and I that agree. was it. Chris Hogan and them are shaky. They're all shaky. Yeah, they're, 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 but possible. I also think that's just not their system. There's no outside receiver. There's, no, there's, no, there's nobody there that could do it. Nobody. But when has Brady really had an outside receiver? I mean, he had players that can do it. I mean, Deion, yeah. Bridge, Deion Bridge was going to call his outside receiver. Uh, yeah. He has nobody that, like, nah. Deion Bridge, he had him for a little while, and he had him towards the back end. It's, it's not like Deion Bridge was the best one, but he was able to do it. Deion Bridge probably was his Chris best Ogan's one. Chris Oak is not able to do it. Julian Deion Edelman is not able to do it. He's not. They're they not able to play that position at all. I mean, Deion Branch was his best one, but that just shows you how they don't really use outside receivers. I mean, Deion yeah. Branch, but I mean, besides Randy Moss, but they didn't win with Randy Moss. So they don't. They don't really use it. I think they. That's why I think that backfield is so dangerous. And none of them has names. They're not pro bowlers, all pros. But how they do it with their scheme and everybody does something different. That's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. I I can't. Uh, Real quick, you know, we talk about the sports gods before we get back to the Super Bowl. But you know what I realized a week later? That call with the Saints, sports gods had to do that. You know why? The Saints can't have the Super Bowl in Atlanta. That's not right. That's not right. You can't have a it's rival right playing in, in Atlanta. Not to mention, there probably been all kind of fights. People would have damn near got killed. <laughs> Think about it, Saints fans and Falcon fans. Think about those type of people. New Orleans people and Atlanta people. You nah, know, but honestly, the people, them, them people out there who who probably been doing the clean probably wouldn't have been able to afford to come out there for Atlanta for a weekend and for a week. So they, they would have been oh, straight. No, they would have been there. They had <laughs> what? They would have they drove them cars there. I mean, they would have not went to the game. Nah, but they would have been out, yeah, there, out, out there. And that would have been even worse. So they, the sports cars had to save a lot of souls. They had to save a lot of people from getting arrested. Save a lot of crimes and violence from happening. Because if the Saints would have played in the Falcons Stadium for the Super Bowl, that is, you, you can't have that. That's not right. That, that That's like, man, you know, that's like if the Super Bowl in, in our joint and y'all play. That can't go down, man. That's not <laughs> happening. You know, the Giants can't play in Dallas for the Super Bowl and, and vice talk, versa and things like that. And speaking of sports guys, the, um, I did see a picture of Drake in a Rams jacket, and they didn't have enough of him. So... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They had enough of him, by the way. The Drake curse is for real. Yeah, that shit is dead real, B. I was, I, man, I seen that because we had to do our picks, right? And I, I did the, I did my pick, and I went for the Rams, and I went for the Rams. I ain't even gonna lie, you know, uh, straight political reasons had nothing to do with football. You know, they, you know, uh, Patriots. I, 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 
I've said it before on the show, Boston fans are notoriously racist, so I can't go for anything Boston. And then, of course, we know the Patriots and their relationship with Trump, so I can't rock with it. Uh, it's not like I hate them. You know, I respect Brady. I, I like I said, yeah, I respect his day, his day, but yeah, it's, it's still, still fuck just, you know, It's still fuck him. Yeah, if it's two teams, I got to go for it. I'm going to go to one opposed to Trump, right? So <laughs> that would be my tiebreaker. Uh, damn, I don't even know what I was saying with that. Oh, yeah, so I had to do the video, right, the, do the pics, and I did that, and then I saw on your IG story the Drake jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and Drake was wearing the Rams jacket, and I was like, damn, I really want to take it back right there. And then I start thinking... I hope this shit is Photoshopped, because Drake got to know he the curse right now. He can't do that. <laughs> and nope, wasn't Photoshopped, and the Drake curse continues. What is this, like five teams now? Yo, it's, it's been like the last, <laughs> I know you had a Duke one on, when he had the Kentucky uh, one one year, <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get to a point where, like, he's going to step into your locker room, and you're going to be... Yo, get out. Nah, like... Nah, yeah. nah, be good, fam. Yo, it's going to be, be like good, uh, 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 Bronx Tale when they was rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> and what's his name? It was Bad Luck. He was looking yeah, at the dice. Yeah. The bag. <laughs> they made him go in the bathroom, man. Like, nah, man, you can't bring that Bad Luck. Yo, I energy want that is real, kid looking at that face when he rolls it. <laughs> Yo, energy <laughs> is real. Damn, it's Drake. Sunny, man. Damn, Drake. Now, before we get to the NBA and so, Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk real quick. Let, let, let's talk about uh, the, the halftime shows, right? You know, I just hate, uh, you know, it's too real. We always keep it really real. We always have a little political view and things. Now, this is me personally, Demetrius. I just hate this whole thing of we just keep telling all these performers, especially these black performers, do not perform the halftime show because of Colin Kaepernick or the cause or things like that, right? Now, the Super Bowl and the halftime is probably the biggest festival in American, you know, culture, right? Probably the most views. Why would we seclude another black person from doing that? Why would we not want them to do the greatest thing they probably would ever do in their career? I just really don't get that. I, I, I don't get that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that because I was never part of the protest anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm on cap side and all that, but, I mean, there's still black people playing football, and if he wasn't going to do it, everybody wasn't going to do it, it didn't make no sense. I wasn't stopping watching football, so it, it was whatever. No. I was not stopping. The yeah. only thing I didn't like was a lot of people I did see, quote, unquote, protesting and making a lot of noise about it. I saw a lot of y'all commercials yeah. on, on the Super Bowl Sunday yeah. commercials, and I was like, wait a Diddy. minute. Come on, fam. Cardi B. Cardi B, Luda. Yeah. Uh, a whole lot of people. So I'm like, wait a minute. Wait and the a only reason like, why I say D -D Diddy and, you know, because, and, he, and all the rest of them, but especially Diddy, I remember one time where, you know, he got on IG, and I just hated it so much, and he was just telling all NFL players, don't, don't play today, don't do it. I, and it's just like, Diddy, that's very easy for you to say as a multi-millionaire, mm. you know, to tell these people don't get their check, don't feed their family. I mean, you work in the music industry. I'm pretty sure you have to deal with a lot of racist white people there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you had to, like, turn the cheek to a lot mm -hmm. of shit. So don't all of a sudden tell these kids. Now, another thing that I, and I have just another example that I just thought of, you know, just really quickly, I'm with Kaepernick, I'm with the cause, but at the same time, I don't. I believe it turned into something different. I believe social media turned it into something different, and I believe Trump turned it into something different. And I don't think necessarily, like most people, that it's a super black issue. I believe the NFL is just a fucked up league, you know, with some rich people that don't want anything to disturb it. I don't think it's necessarily a race thing. I think it's anything. My example before was Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, a white Christian, he was too Christian for their ass, so they had to get him out of there. It's like, whoa, Tebow, you can't be doing all this Christian stuff. Can't be praying all out loud. But another uh, example I just remembered because he just got another job, uh, Rob Ryan. Rob Ryan is another guy, white guy. He has long hair. You know, he looked like a rocker kind of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very hippie. Yeah, definitely looked like he sniffed a lot of coke back in his day. <laughs> and uh, Rob Ryan, though, is a is a hell of a talent as far as football-wise. You know, he comes from Buddy Ryan, uh, Rex Ryan's uh, brother also, you know, Buddy is their father. Uh, and he should have definitely been considered at least more on the wire of a head coaching job. But like I've seen him say before, he's been told by coaches, the way you look, we're not going to hire you. You got to cut your hair. You got to do that. You know, you got to fit this image. Or if you're not going to do that, you will never get a head coaching job. So I just say that to say, 
the NFL just has, you know, it's, it's just messed up on how it just treats people in general. But the whole, I don't think this was necessarily, or the Kaepernick thing was necessarily a black issue as far as they just were shitting on all black people. And so that's why I never really was into the protest of that. And then I hate now that we telling people don't do the halftime or we killing them for doing it. It's like, come on, man. I don't think the NFL is necessarily shitting on all black people, but that, that Kaepernick, absolutely, his race was absolutely a major part of it, too. I think but how can we? It, it, but the only reason why I say it's not a race thing because they've done it with religion. They've done no, it. They, with, no, no, Tebow won shit. That, that's why he wouldn't claim Tebow won shit. I believe Tebow's better than Colin Kaepernick as a football uh, you player. You out of your mind if you think that? No, no. Colin, Tebow, I've Tebow. always said Colin Kaepernick is not that good of a football. We we forget, and now we're gonna get into the discussion. If we forget realistically, and I don't want to poo poo on Colin Kaepernick, but Colin Kaepernick got benched. He got benched. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's when kind of the protest started, and I'm not going to allude to nothing there. But I just say he got benched to say it wasn't like he was the greatest football player. You know, it wasn't. So I, I was never a Colin Kaepernick football fan. I think he's just as good as Tebow. I can even maybe think Tim Tebow is better than Colin Kaepernick. But they're in the same boat to me, and well, the same thing happened to them. What's the difference between Rich, Richie Incognito and Dwight Hardy? Richie Incognito and Dwight Hardy. I, I tell you, Richie Incognito f- finished his career on the Dolphins, continued playing football, and Dwight Hardy is in UFC getting um. Dwight Hardy beat up a woman. And what did Richie Incognito do? Oh, I don't know. He had a domestic violence case. I didn't know that. Shit. I know he 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 was for the bullying Ponzi. What not Ponzi? Uh, what's the kid's name? What was the kid's name? Um, from Stanford. I, I I don't know. But are you talking about like the bullying? That 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 as well. And that he says nigger and things like that. All kind of stuff. Uh, but at the same token, the black teammates stuck up for him. You know what? You're actually right. I'm leaving that alone. The black teammates, and they, nah, you're they actually was, right. they I'm, was I'm, more I'm, with him there. I'm, I'm gonna just leave that alone. You're actually right. So, Bouncy did stick up for him. So I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that there wasn't a race issue in the Colin Kaepernick. Yes, obviously, duh. But I think more. It was bigger. More for them. They don't like anybody messing up their money. Whether who you are, whether you black, whether you white, whether you, you know, we don't want the money messed up. And we have an image that we want to keep, which is terrible. Yeah, but we have an image that we want to keep. And so that's why, for me, I couldn't go with the whole protest and things like that. And then the crazy thing about it is, and I don't want to get too political. We're going to get right back into the sports. But the crazy thing about it is, what angers me is, we got so into Colin Kaepernick getting his job back. That we just totally really forgot about police brutality. Like we don't even talk about that no more. Yeah, that we forgot control, about but... like the police shooting and killing people. That gets no talk at all. But we talk about cat, 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 cat. No, cat, no, cat. As a matter of fact, we didn't forget about it. I mean, they 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 kept it out. They they, they got rid. Of, they they got away from that talk within the media and their narratives. They, they got away from that talk just like they wanted to. But nah, just over the weekend there there was, was a protest downtown in Brooklyn. In, in, in the federal jail because they had no electricity, yeah. no lights, no light. They, they, people are still on it. Trust me, it's just that it um, nicely, strategically got moved out of the um, narrative from the media and within yeah. the NFL. But, nah, they, they still out there. And the other thing is I don't like about it, and on the flip side of it, NFL, you're not low. Get the fuck out of here. We, we see you trying to open up the Super Bowl with all those prominent <laughs> black people. Get, get the fuck out of here, uh, please. That was a good try. Please, don't spare me. Like, get, get out of here. You, you're not low. That was a good try. You didn't have the choir in there? Please, scram. Scram. No thanks. Uh, no, I guess, no thanks. you know, they was in Atlanta. I guess they tried. You know. No thanks. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> it was funny as soon as I seen, uh, uh, I, I seen, don't want to mess it was up John, I King's seen John name. Lewis. I seen Martin Luther King's um, daughters. Uh, yeah, I was like, come on. I see, right, scram. Yeah, you know, they they tried, <laughs> but you know the NFL, they just want they don't want to mess up yeah, the that money. Nice that's image. Them. That's that yeah. shield. Uh, all right. That's them. Uh, now, basketball, right? Peace out. We here. <laughs> basketball, football. Damn, we'll see you soon, man. Damn, it hurts, man. But basketball, we here. You know, this is written, honestly for me as a sports fan. You know, the NBA is what is it, eighty two regular season games. You know, I I, I can't really have the same. <laughs> Love and appreciation for all 82. So, you nah. know, this is how my schedule goes. You know, I still watch games, obviously. I'm still watching every NBA game that come mm-hmm. on. But, oh, I, I get to watch. But um, this is when I start paying attention. After that Super Bowl and right when All-Star breaks coming and everything is serious mm-hmm. after this, this is perfect timing for me. 
trade deadlines and all that. Woo. Did you Thursday, say the right? word trade? How you? I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Peace, let's, kick, man. let's kick it off. Like, go ahead. like I said, it's not like who we talking about. K- K- Chris Tapp for Zing. Okay. We talking about that trade. Like okay. I said, man. Before I said, if Chris Tad Porzingis continued to be the Knicks' best player, nothing else was going to change. Mm-hmm. I, nec- I didn't necessarily want to see him go. Oh, no, yes, I did. Because it's like the other part of the game, the mental aspect, things that he was doing, I, I didn't really like. And how he was approaching the game, how he felt like so full of himself at the tender age of 21, 22, without co- accomplishing a damn thing in this league. Yeah, like the Knicks, was, the Knicks was not even <laughs> winning. Like, you didn't make them better. Yeah. Like, you, so, like, and, and so. To see him going, the only thing I don't really like is that we actually traded him for a player that we should have drafted last year. Like, other than that, I'm not sure if, if the Knicks rushed the trade though. I'm pretty sure we could have got some some better than than, well, than that trade they did. But I guess the Knicks did it to clear up space and mm-hmm. remove old contracts and get ready for the summer 2019 free agency. A lot of people out there, and it is a lot of people out there. But man, there. En- enough of that though. Enough for that. Enough for that. Depending on free agency. I agree. Enough for trying to build it through that way. Nah, man. When's the last time a, a, a big free agent came to New York? Like we didn't. We didn't win when Amari came to New York. Amari won because he got a hundred million dollar contract. <laughs> Everybody else was going. Amari sure like, did yeah, win. Take so a like, bath and wine and shit. You <laughs> crazy, gotta, how rich you got to be to take a bath and wine? Bath and wine. <laughs> with New York City, with New York City ring, and like you yeah, taking a bath and wine. Bath and wine. That's, that's how you crazy. know he robbed the Knicks. So man. like, I'm not like, I like, I don't care to see Chris Tapp's whole teams go. Peace out. Hopefully we'll get the number one draft pick. I really want the Knicks. That's how I think we should do it. We should build through the draft and all that. We got we got a chance to get the number one pick, and all this CJ Reddish and like uh, not enough. It's hands down. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Zion Williamson is Zion. the best player in college basketball. He's the best player. He's the best amateur right now. Nah, and so man. enough of this. Bring on Zion to New York if we get that number one draft pick. But am I am I am I am I um am I sad to see Chris Tapporzins go? Peace. <laughs> Peace. Now, uh, I think uh, y'all did good. You know, with me, with trades, with anything, draft picks is huge. I, I love draft picks and trades. That's all I want. You know, when you trade a star, a superstar, mm-hmm. you, you got never going to get a superstar back. So, yeah, y'all got two first-round picks, so I love that. So I think y'all came off good. You know what? I was, I was watching the Nuggets the other night, and it made me think about y'all. You know, the Nuggets don't, besides uh, Joker, uh, Joker, I mean, damn it, he's like, He's so not, I don't want to say underrated because people know how great he is, but he just doesn't, I don't know, just he's just such a great player, whatever. But, yeah, I was watching that team, and it made me think, like, yeah, the Knicks could do something. You know, they don't if they don't go to that same formula, like you said, of chasing the free agents, because the Nuggets, they didn't really chase no free agents. They don't really have no big all-star mm-hmm. names. They're a great team, and they got a bunch of great ball players and Knox and a lot of the other young kids that y'all got can yes, fit sir. kind of those same roles that those Nuggets players have, like Beasley and uh, and uh, what's the other kid on the Nuggets that's really good? Uh, Murray? Not Murray, but there's another wing player who's like, you know, regular-ish, but he's a great Great kind of role player, and those Knicks players feed that fit into that. So I I think the Knicks, you know, if like you said, if they follow the the draft and be patient formula, they could be like that Nuggets team pretty soon, definitely. But however, if that plan does work and we do somehow land Kyrie or Kemba and KD, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I, I love Kemba. Do you want Kemba though? In New York, I mean, <sighs> I love yeah. Kemba though. I love Kimba, but do I want Kimba? If I could have Kyrie over Kimba, I mean, <laughs> I'm definitely taking Kyrie, but would I want Kimba? Yeah. See, like, like for me, like, right, if I'm a GM, right, if I – this is how I would go about it. If I feel I can't win a championship with you, I'm not even going to waste my time. No matter how good you are, even if you're the best player available, if I just feel like oh, I can't win a championship with you – I'm going to hold out, and I'm going to wait a little longer until I find. So I love Kimba. I think Kimba's a great player. He's obviously an upgrade to anything they've had. But I don't feel like I can win a championship with him. So it's going to be hard for me to give him the contract he wants when I feel like, oh, you can't be my championship star. But I love Kimba, you know. I think if you're surrounded by the right players, you could win Kimba. If KD's the best player on the team and then you got Zion on there, and then <laughs> yeah. I like Fizdale too. I think Coach yeah, Fizdale. I like Fizdale. I like Fizdale's coach too. And as long as James Dolan stay upstairs and on his guitar, don't come down meddling and stuff, 
Nick should be all right, man. I, 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 I like, I like, I can't, I can't imagine. Can't, I just, I, I can't see it. Like, there's a lot of rumors going on. I'm just like, yo, I'm just not, I'm not, I don't see it though, man. I don't I, see KD coming here, man. I don't, yeah, I don't get it. I mean, I kind of didn't all the way get LeBron going to the Lakers, and that happened. Uh, you was on that right away, pause, but I, I don't know. I, I keep hearing the KD and the Knicks, but. I just, yeah, I don't see how or why. Exactly. I don't see the why. I don't. Unless he knows, like, yo, Kyrie, mm-hmm. we going, yo, exactly. Zion, we trade. Mm-hmm. You know, and even then, I'm still kind of like, but it's still not a guarantee to, you know, to be at such a game. I still think, though, that Draymond messed it up. It's over. <laughs> Draymond messed it up. But, but if, if the Knicks do get get the um, number one pick, it could get real, get real interesting. Yeah. It, it can make people want like, oh, yeah, that is, oh, yeah. it get real interesting, man. Cause they know, they know that boy Zion. Uh, yes, coming. sir. Uh huh. And <laughs> so right there. Now, what I I was saying, you know, re- looking at some of the stuff you were saying about Porzingis before, uh, still not sure how I feel. I, I do think Porzingis is a great player. I think he can be a superstar. There is some things that I think are missing. Where so I agree with you as not sure. But now he with Luca, and I think that we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That that's gonna be that's gonna be some. It's and gonna be nice. Will, real entertaining basketball on Dallas for the next good for the next ten years, man. I'm telling you, man. Just because Luca has all the intangibles I want in mm-hmm. my star, he has everything I want. He's shown it and beyond. He's way better than I could have even imagined at at this. You know, so soon. Uh, so it's actually perfect because now Porzingis don't have to be a superstar, and he won't. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's better than Luca, uh, and so he won't be. He'll be, you know, the same. So uh huh. Play nice. I don't. I don't mm-hmm. get the whole Dirk and Nash thing. I keep seeing that. I don't get that. I, I guess it's just we got to compare it to something. They were both Mavericks, I guess. But I don't get the Dirk and Nash thing. Me neither, because Luca ain't no Nash. They, they <laughs> totally different not players. No Nash. I, don't, I don't see the similarity in their game at all. Luca so. will kill Nash. <laughs> 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 Luka is not no yeah, dash, Luka, so. Luka for real, man. That kid 19, man. Hey, uh, I'm trying not to fall in this Paul George trap. I'm not. Until I see it done in the playoffs, no. <laughs> I'm trying I mean, and look, he looking, he looking marvelous uh, out there. He looking like marveling, marvelous Paul George out there. He be looking like the best player in the NBA oh, for real, some nights. Some nice. like, it's like, oh, my gosh. But until I see it done in the playoffs, and I'm not talking about in the first round versus, like, Utah or somebody, I'm – it might be against Utah because they got smacked against Lucha last year. Who cares? Let's see it in the playoffs, man. Do I see it in the playoffs? Nah, man. I no, just, no, yeah. no. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I, hey, we're speaking of Utah, right? We're just gonna be all over the place. You see, the, the Gobert. I, I just laughed just now, but when Gobert cried because he didn't get the All Star. Oh, that, he, he, that's who cried. I know. I yeah. saw Stephen Jackson going off on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, now I'm laughing at it, but yeah. I don't know how I felt nah, about man. it. Like, a, a part of me felt like, oh, that's nice that he cares that much. Then a part of me felt like. No part of me felt like that. It was kind of like, because he, like, fell out. Like, he was like, I he didn't couldn't see even, it, like, I, I got to see it. I got to oh, see yeah. it. Oh, yeah, it was like. That, nah, you, 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 fam, you seven feet. Three, yeah, two. It was like, yeah. Well, nah. what, what we had on the. Oh. All right, yeah. Uh, nah, yeah, we so. could. nah, in the hell no. You better not cry and fall out. <laughs> yeah. Get mad on the court and dunk on something. That's what I want you to see. I want you to see somebody right, punch somebody's laugh. shit to the sixth floor and knock somebody popcorn over. <laughs> and I want to see you take a screw out of the rim with a ferocious dunk. Talking about crying. All right, I can laugh. I can laugh. Fuck out of here. I was trying to be nice, I guess. Nah, nah. <laughs> fuck all that, man. I was trying to be shit. nice, I guess. Nah, man. Yeah, he like, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. Drop, right, stepping, man. drop, drop step and dunk. Fuck yeah. crying. <laughs> Oh man, freaking ah! Uh, Cried. Now, damn, I'm mad. My man Luca didn't get the All Star. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't get voted in, yo. Yeah, I, I'm. Well, how? Did, well, I, oh, as far as the starters. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you know the well, you know they got powerhouse. Yeah, West out, out there, there everybody yeah, out there. Yeah, man. they got. But I am happy D'Lo got there. D'Angelo Russell. You know, oh, he player. did. See, I didn't even check the um, East Reserves. I didn't even care. Like, well, yeah, D'Angelo Russell got it, man. You know, he was my breakout player last year. I was a year early. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he actually got hurt last year. And the Nets, Nets are playing. Nah, Nets are all playing good. They, they're a superstar away from, like, being a playoff contender. Like, a for real, like, you make some noise and play. Not, not winning it. They need. They still need at least, like, two good names. But Well, maybe D'Lo could be that player. Uh, he could be one of them. Yeah, he's one of day three. They, they they need, they add, need, you, you, know. you need three nowadays if you want to win it. So they I need guess. like two more, man. I guess he, man. he definitely could be one of them, though, man. Man, boogie on the Warriors. I... 
Shit's not fair, man. And then I see, I, I don't even, man, I don't even, it's, it's bad because I like Boogie, but I don't got no respect for you, Boogie, man. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't yeah, got no respect that, for none of that. Man. All that going to Warriors and you dunking on people, you want to pose. And I, I mean, I wish people stopped letting the Warriors front on them, man. <laughs> like, no stop, choice. Like, man, forget that, man. I'm swinging on one of them Warrior players, <laughs> man. I know I'm going to lose the chip, so at least I'm going to win the fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm swinging. They letting these warrior players just do everything. Uh-huh. They come with this swagger, boogie, and all that. Boogie, you ain't deserve nothing. You didn't earn nothing. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I hate that this this warrior. Co- I like it when it comes from Steph. I can't lie. It's funny when it comes from Steph for me. You know, <laughs> Steph's six two. You know, uh-huh. he got the baby face. So you know, <laughs> he's not really intimidating. So it's just funny when he front on people. All them other cats, man. I I don't like it, man. Yeah, I, I can't. So you. boogie, man. It's just not fair. You just watch them play, and it's just like, this shit ain't fair. It's like, how do y'all respect yourselves? How do y'all look in the mirror? And, I mean, you know, the, the homegrown warriors, the one, you know, Clay, mm-hmm. Steph, Draymond, y'all came. But all of you know, the yeah. KDs and, uh-huh. the, and, the, and the boogies, how Whoa. the hell do y'all look yourselves in the mirror, man? And then, but that's what the whole league is turning to now, you know. You see with the AD, they, they, um... Campaign AD to LA. That's what the oh, league's turning yeah. to. AD, we ain't even talking. Let, let's talk AD and then yeah, that's what. The competitive balance in the NBA is gonna look so trash. It's like it, it like man, it's, it's so whack to me. If players want to be all, like, I don't got a problem. I do have a problem. The competitive, it, it's, it's not competitive no more. Nobody, nobody, you not telling me no. I don't care what happened last year with the Warriors and the Houston Rockets. The Rockets didn't beat them. Chris Paul did get hurt, and they did lose. So, no, I don't see nobody beating the Warriors. The Rockets not the same team last it was last year, so I don't see them doing that again this year. I don't see nobody beating the Warriors ever. As long as those three on that team, KD, um, Clay, and Steph, I don't see it happening, you know. And now, to combat that, to, to compete with that, make a start. Everybody's going to try to keep them together. Nah, the competitive yeah, balance is going to be so whack. And it's like none, none to look forward to, man. The the thing with the AD, and you tell me how you feel, this is just what I battle, right? You know, so there's the one side where it's always like, well, the team can trade you whenever they want to trade you and yada, yada, yada. And then it's so now why can't the players put, you know, there and do the same thing or put their destiny in their hands? And so I was battling that for a while because I hate what these players are doing as far as just, you know, dictating the team they want to be, you know. Mm -hmm. LeBron started this, and now it's, you know, like wildfire. Like you said, teams got to compete, so now they feel like, all right, well, we got to make, you know, we got to compete against the Warriors, so we got to do the same thing. But when I thought about it, and, you know, I don't care, man. You get paid. You get paid. If you get paid $30 million Mm -hmm. to lose, you better count your blessing. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because I get paid way less to go to my job and lose because I feel like I'm losing when I go to work and clock in every day and out. <laughs> so if you're getting 30 million or whatever these players, 1 million, I don't care. Word. If you're getting that much to be in a place and lose, I'm not saying you're going there to purposely lose. Obviously, you're going to win. But if, if you just happen to be so losing and you're in a losing environment, so be it. The problem now is, like in an AD situation, you have a whole nother year on your contract. Word. And you signed the extension. <laughs> you, you, you decide to sign that extension, fam. So why are we doing yeah, contracts? Let's just do yeah. like what Deion Sanders and the Braves did. <laughs> word Let's is. just do a word of mouth thing. <laughs> What's the point of contracts if these players just is just going <laughs> like, their way out I don't like... want to be here and I want to go here. Like this, so I, so I'm i sorry. Man. I'm, I'm with like... the, you know, I'm a lot of times pro player. But I'm pro organization in this because you get paid. Mm-hmm. You're not. It's not like you're a slave and you're being forced. Word. You're getting paid a lot of money. And I heard that the, the GM and the Pelicans start picking up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good move, man. I, mean, man. I don't like did that neither. Especially, and I can't get mad. LeBron and them just found a glitch in the matrix. But I know he officially <laughs> spilled, like with Rich Paul, uh-huh. LeBron's agent and childhood like Word. best friend, is eighty. So I know he feels like. This was oh you guys set me up. All this the way. Is a, you think you think LeBron and AD don't have a like you know a straight communication to each <laughs> other, but I just hate that these players is acting like they not getting paid. It's like oh well you know if the team trades me y'all not gonna say nothing. Yeah the team paid you too. You know, or, well, you, and you decide for that extension man for, for in twenty twenty come on. And then even if the trade go through, Lakers gonna gut their team. 
Yeah. Peace I, out, Zoe. Peace out, Ingram. Peace out, Cools. And you're going to bring like back. That. It's not going to be enough. I don't like that. It's like, yeah, y'all going to trade five people. Y'all going to even have enough for your mm-hmm. roster? Word. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> LeBron going to be gone in, the, in two years. And KD, I mean, AD will be there by himself and what? Uh. Lakers be back in the dumpster uh, <laughs> at a Western Conference again, yo. Yeah, I, I don't luck. know. If, I, if anything, I would just wait. I wouldn't. I don't Word, like trade. that out, man. That's a lot of talent to trade, man. I don't know if I could trade that. They was in fourth place before LeBron got hurt. They was they was yeah. they was getting better. I suggest you wait and play this out. And then again, like I don't know how much I believe in AD as a, as a star superstar player. That's gonna take. That's a over fact. Cause like he, he's home. great, talent wise, he's great. But New Orleans ain't never get better. Yeah, and basketball. And two Drew Holiday and all them got there and started. <laughs> yeah, Rondo and all them came back. That's other than that, they were still losing. They were still Holiday like was the real MVP over there, man. <laughs> That's why they won that series. Drew Holiday and Rondo. Yeah. When AD was and AD could have won a series all them years if he was that guy. So I don't, you know, uh, I mean, you know, we could talk NBA so much. I'm just it been so long. We just try to get everything out. But last thing I'm gonna say about NBA, man, then we just gonna catch him again on the next episode. This James Harden streak. It looks nice on paper. Sure do. That shit looks horrible with my eyes when I watch him play. <laughs> that is the worst Yo, piece man. of basketball. I know Greg Popovich can't watch that shit. <laughs> I know when he played the Rockets, when James Harden them get the ball, he got to turn his back and look at the crap. Because that is the that shit is for low. Yep. <laughs> four low. If you're not a basketball player, four low. That's what the point guard calls four low. And really, it's just four people you just watch. That's the body. They go the down ISO. to the block. They literally go down to the block and clear all that space out. And if they might want to round, do their little sets and move around. But other than that, it's the person with the ball at the top. Oh, either either you're going to pass the ball, which we all know James Harden <laughs> is not passing the ball, or you yeah, make the play. And then terrible. he just. And 14 can, step backs, couple of travels, hezzies, and crossover. Oh, man. And don't get this confused with, like, Russell Westbrook, because some people say this. But when James Harden has those games of 11 assists and things like that, nobody else on the Rockets touches the ball. <laughs> now Chris Paul is back, and it, it, I don't know what's worse, because him and now they both do it. Where it's like, you know, Take you go, time, I go, bro. you go, I go. But with James Harden, no one t- – it, it, was, it was like – it was like a comedy to me, like dead ass. Like no one was touching the ball for just no. It was one time when he played the Knicks. He shot six times in a row without anyone else touching the ball. I promise you, <laughs> it was the craziest thing. It's just like horrible. Best. So it looks it, nice, but it's ter- like on paper. When he scored like six years ago, he, they, they won. They, they won, right? But they like won. A one or two. They or three, barely yes. won. They barely won at the end. First round exit. And 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 when you. Put, I, and I don't know how I feel about it, too, because sometimes he is getting fouled and he has manipulated the system. But, you know, he's going to the free throw line like 20 times a game. It's crazy. And then you don't get the same calls in the playoffs, and then you wonder why James Harden don't do a damn thing in the playoffs. Oh, man. yeah, you know, James Harden. The First round exit. Calling, Chris Paul will be yeah. hurt again. He's, he's getting older. He's going to, like, he can't stay healthy. Yeah, hamstrings don't go Oh, away. yeah, yeah. So first round exit, watch. Depend, watch. Uh, first you know, round. Yo, I'm so glad we back. Yo, I was a five this morning. <laughs> I was a five this morning, just hype. Bird. Back. Oh, back. hiatus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn. I mean, you know, we could do this forever, man. We could do it. We could sit here and talk. I was about to start talking hockey, damn man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> NFL, bye bye. It's a great season, I guess. Super NBA. Bowl suck. College basketball tournament. Damn, but yeah, yes. now we got now we in the basketball swing of things. Now I gotta guess I gotta start watching college basketball. I've been neglecting that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's con- it's the, the in the conference now. I, I guess I'll start watching that. TNT more. It's Thursday nights and all that. <laughs> oh, I neglected that, so I guess we do that. Ah, my brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Back at it. Back at it. We here. See y'all again in two, man. You know when we gonna you know we gonna post a clip, man. Go back and forth with us in the comments and everything. You know how we do, man. Damn, man. Patriots won off that. 13-3. Come on, man. Go to eat. Nah, man. The Cowboys could have been in that, man. man. We would have scored more. We didn't uh, score more than 13. I don't know how they, they entered this, this episode, but hey. I mean, and now, you know, they saying Kellen Moore is a, the boy genius, man. They saying Kellen Moore, our new offensive coordinator. I don't know. They saying he the next oh, McVay, man. God. That's what they saying. Oh, we got to get rid of Gary. You see, we had to extend him, so that means he's out of here. 
But ah, my fault. I had to sneak it in, man. Dak was supposed to win Man of the Year too, man. You supposed to y'all rob my guy. But all right, my bad, man. Let's get started. I just know the Giants been that on draft Tyler Murray. Don't do it. That's it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, Eli, please just keep Eli there some more, man. Please. Hey, too real. Ah, Bows, my brother.